Hey, what's up, movie club? Today we're talking about the movie Annie. Annie was a pretty horrible movie. It's one of those classics that usually play on ABC Family around Christmas or some other holiday. It's a musical, so any less than fabulous acting may be excused. For another matter, Tim Curry is in it, so that gives it a level of awesomeness that can't be taken away by its faults. The movie is a lot of fun, no doubt. The inclusion of FDR was amusing, and I really liked the song Easy Street. It's not my favorite musical, but I liked it. I'd seen this movie once before when I was younger, so I didn't remember a lot, but it was still fun. I enjoyed it then as well as now, but it was nothing to rave about. My girlfriend might say otherwise, but I'll leave that to her review. Like I said, I didn't remember a whole lot from the first time I watched it, so it was really more like a first time viewing. The movie relies on the cute factor, so it felt like a kid's movie that I had missed out on when I was younger. The movie did seem to have a lot of cliches, and I was never concerned that there wasn't going to be a happy ending. I did feel sad during the scene where Annie tells Warbucks about her parents, but other than that, the movie was all cutesy, so it's the kind of movie I can only imagine seeing once again with my kids someday. I thought Carol Burnett's performance as the drunk orphanage matron Miss Hannigan was fabulous. It wasn't Oscar-level acting, but it stood out. Her character was confusing, though. I would have thought that she'd be happy to have Annie adopted, but for some reason she's angry? And then she just tries to seduce Warbucks along with every other man she runs into. And she abruptly turns good at the end, out of the blue, to protect Annie from her brother Rooster? Such a random flip of morals like this was strange, and this is the kind of thing that can only happen in old kids' movies. Punjab is the best character by far. Sure, there's a little racist undertone that leaks through from the original script, but that's not the intention here. He saves the day, and he's more of a hero than any of the other characters, with the possible exception of the girls from the orphanage that run to tell Warbucks that he's been duped. This movie is most entertaining to theater kids like my girlfriend and I, as well as young kids who just love singing. To people looking for more realistic characters or a more sensible plot, you might want to try a different movie. This movie is old and based on an older musical, so you're not going to get anything new here. All in all, I'd say this movie was pretty good. Really the kind of movie I would only watch once in a while with my family. Well, those are my thoughts, Movie Club. What did you think? I'll see you next week.